<laughs> Hello, my friends. It is Jennifer of Jensen's Garden, and it is beginning of June, and I'm out here in my garden, and I'm really behind, and that's completely okay. Remember, sometimes it's okay to be a lazy gardener. It all happens. Things bloom. They don't always need you. Um, things do not weed themselves, though, or harvest themselves. So that you do, yeah, you know. But today's Thursday, and it's the the day of Jupiter and I love Jupiter. So it's planetary Thursdays. Planetary association is Jupiter, which is all about expansion and luck. And this case, my favorite day of the week. <laughs> so with that being said, it's beginning of June. I keep on doing that. It's beginning of June. I'm going to do it again. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. I misplaced my little stick thing. I need to get another one. It's June. It's beginning of June. I'm starting to do open gardens and things like that. And being June, I have to do some weeding. One of the things I am weeding today, okay, so I say weed, so we actually we should say harvest. I am harvesting yellow dock, but the yellow dock that's just outside in my, here we go, the perimeter, if you're in my garden, so if it's inside, we'll say, not the walls, but the fence of my, the main garden, I mean, I have gardens out there and out there, then I am harvesting yellow dark. So here's my harvest so far. So yellow dark, yellow dock is associated with Jupiter. So perfect day, it's Thursday. There is a thousand seeds on this. Let's take a look. It's a, they say it's the bane of farmer's existence because of all these seeds. So these are almost like little flowers right now, but they are all gonna go to seed soon. So everything that's inside my garden, walls or fences, and in here, I'm gonna harvest out the roots, and this is where it gets its name. This, I saw this one was perfect. Do you see the, the yellow in that? I'm not sure if you can see the yellow, but that's why it's called yellow, um, yellow dock. There's some, you look it up, you might see that it's good for um, your like liver for expulsion or expulsion. Elimination, we'll say. It's a good elimination plant. <laughs> I heard that the seeds um, would get used in some certain kinds of bread. I've not done much research on that. So to be honest, what's going to happen is I'm harvesting everything out of my garden today that is yellow dock just to get the roots. The roots I'm gonna wash off really good. Then I'm going to slice them, not too, too small, but just enough that someone could get them into like um, a nut grinder or coffee grinder situation and able to grind it for what they need or chop it down even more. Um, is probably will go, it will go out in my, my herbal boxes at some time, probably in the winter, eh, maybe in the fall. But it will go out on the same, picking up my, sho my, my shovel, it will, it's going to go out on the same date or the same um, month that I will send out the seeds. The seeds I'm going to harvest from the plants that are outside my garden boundaries. So all these are going to become seeds. I think this is all from ants right there. Eh. But what's outside, I will harvest the seeds when it goes to seeds. That will be my magical herb, and medicinally, um, we will be going to the root. Again, if you peel it off, you're going to see how it gets yellowy, which is the reason um, it's yellow dock. Now you're like, well, what about the leaves? Um, the leaves I actually use fresh every time I come across some stinging nettles because I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> so the leaves, I really, I just mush up really quickly and they get very juicy and they help, see how juicy it's going to get? And it helps relieve, like, re, relieve the sting of the stinging nettles. Um, and I know, I know there's some in this garden. Or maybe I got it by the roots. Wait, where did I just see it? <sighs> Sorry, I know I saw stinging nettles in the garden. Let's take a quick, not there. Oh, I know where I was. I was down in the fruit area. So it's down in the fruit area. But what I wanted to show you, oh God, they're everywhere. 
I wanted to show you just how easy it is to harvest them. So let me go back to wherever I lost my shovel before I started getting this all gooey. You see how all wet that is now? I just put that on wherever the sting of the stinging nettles is, and that is good. Ah, found the shovel right next to a yellow dock. I like these kind of narrow shovels. Probably a different word than shovel. I'm going to get right up to it. Go in, give it a little lift, and jiggle it out. The one nice thing about yellow dock, it has a pretty straight, I okay, guess this curved a little bit, but it has a pretty straight root. It's really the the main root, as you can see, is straight in those little other branches off, but it came out really easy. If it's older, yes, it will go deep. This is pretty, this is probably first year yellow dock, because I do this every year, maybe a second year. I could have been slacking. So that is yellow dock. So let's look at the leaves and see how they just come up the stem Then they'll go around, they'll come up again, go it again, come out and then the little flowers which will become seeds. So you'll see in about a month from now all those, what we look at to be flowers right now, is all going to be to seed. It will all be brown. And I can see just from those flowering heads, you probably can't see, but I can identify one, two, three, four, four more, five more, six more, seven more. Yeah, I have a lot more to dig up. So I'm going to let you go, but I wanted to talk about yellow dock. If you are an Herbal Box subscriber, you are going to get for your medicinal herb one month the root. And that same month, I'm going to make sure you get the seeds for the, the magical herb. And the culinary herb, well, that's anyone's guesses. Have a great day. Bye-bye.